Yeah, it's very hard mentally just um, trying to push your body to go to its maximum physical, you know, limits um, when you're not sure if it can handle it. So I think the mental part can be really difficult in that. Um, One thing that all athletes dread is an injury, even though it will always be a consistent threat hanging over their heads as long as they are in sports, no one wants that, and they can empathize with those who, at one point or another, had to struggle through an injury. As Abby said, it was a challenge to power through that, and it appears that she's all better now, and once again ready to exhibit her dominance on the track. Most of you probably remember that shortly after finishing fourth in the 200-meter race at the USA Track and Field Championships in July, the former Dublin Kaufman star announced that she would be shutting down the rest of her track season to have surgery to remove a bone spur in her left heel that has been pressing against her Achilles tendon. What many did not know was that it was an injury she had been running through for at least six months. In a lengthy Instagram post, Abby noted that despite the pain, she showed up to meets, practices, and workouts. Showed up with a lot of grit and a whole lot of love for the sport, she said. She added that even though a lot of people questioned why she didn't quit if she was so injured, quitting was never an option for her. It was never an option to give up without doing everything possible to make that team going to Budapest, she wrote. Despite all my efforts, it didn't come together. I'll be shutting down my season early to get surgery to get back to being pain-free again. But she was quick to assure fans that she's still not quitting. Why would she, when it's quite obvious to everyone that she belongs on the track? In fact, fans wouldn't have known that she was battling any injury until she said it. That's how great her form was early in the season. At the 2023 Milrose Games, Abby set a new American record when she broke the indoor American record in the 300-meter sprint in a new national record of 35.54 seconds, putting her third on the world all-time list behind Irina Privolova and Shanae Miller-Owebo. After that, Abby ran a shorter distance when she competed in the women's 200-meter at the 2023 Miramar Invitational and won, clocking at 22.23 seconds. Then, at the NYC Grand Prix 2023, Abby soared to 22.19 seconds, leading the pack in the women's 200 meters. With that, Abby, the reigning national champion, sped to a 21.77 in 2022 to top the U.S. list. After the win, she has already won three races at her specialty distance for the season, including a season best of 22.23. In her last race of the 2023 season, Steiner finished the 200-meter in 22.07 behind Gabby Thomas, Shakari Richardson, and Kayla White. It was great to make it to the final, and when you're in the final, anything can happen. Steiner shared after the race, It's been a long season for me, just battling some injuries. Making the team was a win, but also giving myself some time for recovery was a win too. Once she's ready, when her body is fully recovered, that is, everyone knows what she's capable of and what an amazing athlete she is. In fact, she won the 200 meter in the 2022 USA Track and Field Championships, finishing in 21.77 seconds. She signed with Puma, going pro after earning four NCAA titles and becoming a 15-time All-American at Kentucky. She holds the American Collegiate, Southeastern Conference, and Kentucky records in the indoor 200 meters, along with holding collegiate, SEC, and school records in the outdoor 200-meter dash and 300 meters. Before Kentucky, Steiner won four straight state titles in the 200-meter dash at Kaufman, along with three in the 100-meter dash in her final three years of high school. Remarkable, right? According to Pascal Rowling, head of running sports marketing at Puma, Abby Steiner is one of the most exciting upcoming stars in track and field. We believe that she will have a brilliant career and we want to be by her side and support her, he added. Meanwhile, Abby noted that Puma's list of high-performance athletes is impressive and being one of them just feels amazing. I am very happy to be part of the Puma family now and I can't wait to take off. Shortly after, she signed a pro contract with Puma. The record-setting sprinter went back to her Columbus area roots. In what she called a whirlwind time of her life, Steiner returned home from Lexington, Kentucky to make some public appearances and spend time with family, friends, and fans. More accurately, she visited Dublin Kaufman, her high school alma mater, where a mural of herself was unveiled. 
She talked with supporters and signed autographs as nearly 200 people came out to see Steiner at the event, which was sponsored by Puma. This is kind of surreal, Steiner said. I'm amazed at how many people came out to support me. This is a wonderful community in Dublin and it's just such a special community in track and field. It's always very supportive. She shared how she was able to talk to people who were older, some have even graduated from Kentucky in 1970, and to little girls as well. It was really special seeing the range of ages that running can have an impact on. It's really motivating knowing that I can have a whole community who's cheering for me no matter what. It's so cool to meet her, Kaufman freshman Filippo Mazur said. To know that a world champion is right there in front of me and went to my school? I know so many people who absolutely adore her. It's a huge honor. A lot of people adore her indeed, both on and off the track. And now that she's once again ready to take on her competitors after last year's surgery, fans are more than ready to support her again in her races. They are more than delighted to see her competing again. On that note, she is once again re-establishing her dominance in the sport. A few days ago, the top American athlete made a remarkable comeback at the Gamecocks Invitational held in Columbia, South Carolina. At the event hosted by South Carolina Track and Field at the Sheila and Morris Kreger Track, Steiner started her season with an impressive victory. Despite being an expert in the 60-meter, 100-meter, and 200-meter races, the 23-year-old clinched gold in the 400-meter race at the just-concluded meet. In her first race back from surgery, Abby Steiner ran 51.58 to win the 400 meter at the Gamecock Invitational. She was followed by Karima Davis and Janiel Registre in second and third place, who clocked 51.98 and 53.99 respectively. A few days later, it was announced that Abby would be among the high-profile athletes Jamaican fans will be watching closely at the Jamaican Athletics Invitational, set for May 11th in Kingston, Jamaica. The announcement was made by Marvin Anderson, the athlete's liaison officer, during the launch event at the AC Hotel by Marriott Kingston a few days ago. As you can imagine, the excitement is building for the inaugural Jamaica Athletics Invitational, with a stellar lineup of track and field stars ready to dazzle the crowds. Among the highly anticipated events is the men's 110-meter hurdles, featuring Olympic champion Hansel Parchment and Commonwealth Games champion Rashid Broadbell. They will be joined by standout American hurdler Daniel Roberts, promising a thrilling battle over the barriers. In addition to the hurdle spectacle, the sprints event will showcase talents such as recently crowned World Indoor 60-meter champion Julian Alfred, making her return to Jamaica after her high school years. Joining her are international sensations like Great Britain's Dina Asher-Smith and two-time world champion Abby Steiner, ensuring top-class competition on the track. How well she will perform at the race, we will have to wait and see. The same goes for Paris, obviously. For now, watch this to see who we may or may not see at the Summer Olympics.